What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, but before we get into the word, I just want to remind everybody that those that have not yet joined um, my Unleash That Woman community, which is a mentoring community, make sure that you join today while the flash sale of $24.99 is still going on, okay? Listen, if you've been praying for to be in a community of like-minded people to establish long-lasting relationships to be around women okay who can pray with you pray for you whatever it is that you've been praying for this is a community designed specifically for you so we would love to have you in the building okay we meet live every single thursday now listen y'all the title of this video is called the royal upgrade okay the royal upgrade and when you think of that word royal royal means like your status okay and so you have the status of a king or a queen you have the status of a king or a queen and to have the status of a king or a queen means that you are in a different position right you have entered a new position where now you are making rules you are seated at new tables okay you are surrounded by new people so people that um have influence affluence authority impactful people and so in this season god is saying that a royal upgrade is coming to you okay and so um when i wrote that down god highlighted two things that the holy spirit kept showing me this month in december which was white horses and crowns okay and so as far as the white horses the Holy Spirit was speaking to me on the white horse and my favorite color is white. Some people don't consider it a color, but I consider it a color. Since I was a child, I love the color white. Anything white, the entire house white, I just love it, okay? It brings me so much peace and clarity. And so when I thought about white horses, right, anytime I think about a white horse, I think of like purity, I think of freedom, and I think of victory, okay, triumphing over any negative battle or any battle um, that you previously might have gone in. And so this is the season, this is the time, the time is now, okay, where God is saying that victory is here and victory is yours and he is crowning you in this season. And so what was so crazy, y'all, is that um, we would be walking into um, developments, whether that's like restaurants or different things like that, and they would randomly like hand us crowns, okay, like the paper crowns, and so randomly hand us crowns, and I started laughing because I knew that that was so prophetic to the season, okay, that we are now entering of God crowning us in this season, and so what comes with God changing your status, okay, um, um, uh, Esther. <laughs> Esther, with God changing your status is that you now have access to things that you didn't have access to previously. You have keys that open doors that you didn't have the key to in the previous season, okay? And so listen, God is saying because of your obedience, your obedience unlocked doors. It unlocked miracles and it also changed your position and changed your status in this season. Now, like we all know, okay when we are disobedient or maybe you don't know when you are disobedient okay because slow obedience is still disobedience and anytime we are disobedient we begin to lose access to certain things and so i'm gonna give y'all a quick story of what that um looks like um i want to say a month or two ago i was um frustrated on this specific day where right? i was angry i was frustrated i was having one of those days and the holy spirit told me to sit down right i didn't want to sit down i wanted to get up go drive go do something he specifically told me to sit down i did not listen i walked out of my um my home and i dropped my keys in the elevator but y'all know like when you walk into an elevator it's like that little space between the elevator and you crossing over to you know walk onto the platform and so in between that little slit my keys fell all the way down okay so let's talk about god being funny and so he took my keys away i didn't get my keys i took i want to say until like the next day or the day after but i knew that there was nothing but the holy spirit okay and so in that moment i lost access to everything okay my car 
my home keys, my mail key, I'm talking about D, all of the above. I didn't have access to anything, okay? And so I thought that that was funny, but the Holy Spirit was speaking to me in that moment and just showing me like, this is what happens when you are disobedient and when you're not listening to what God is saying. When you are disobedient, you begin to lose access to certain things, okay? But in this season, because we learned our lesson, because we are being obedient and we are listening to what God is saying, God is saying, your obedience has unlocked doors for you. And anytime that God puts you into a new position and he upgrades you, okay, that means that you're not the only person that is upgraded, but those connected to you will be upgraded as well because you will be the person that will be able to be a blessing to your family, to your friends, to your loved ones, to those closest to you, okay? And so listen, child, this was just a quick word, a prophetic word, okay, of God saying that the royal upgrade, okay, you have entered into the season where you are going to experience the royal upgrade. You won't know when it's going to happen. You won't know how it's going to happen. And like I tell y'all all the time, it doesn't even matter how. If God says it, then child, listen. Just go with the flow and keep doing what he tells you to do. And before you know it, you're going to see yourself seated in places. You're going to... um thank you holy spirit you're going to receive invitation to places that once closed the door in your face god is saying you are about to experience a royal upgrade where your status is changing your status is changing okay and so listen child i pray that you all can receive this blessed and prosperous word like i always say every single prophetic word is not for everybody but you will know if this word is for you okay i love you all please make sure you like comment subscribe and share this out to all your family and friends until next time i will see you all next time i didn't mean to say that i will see you all next time i love you all okay bye